This is the weekly rock roundup where I bring you all the latest headlines in rock from the past week. The official Glastonbury lineup is here and I'm not gonna lie, there's not a lot of rock acts on it. But I am really shocked at the lack of rock bands on this lineup considering its resurgence over the past few years. We've downloaded 20 selling out last year and 90s new metal bands actually selling out huge tours. I don't know about you but I would love to see Limp Bizkit headline at the other stage. If I was Miss Emily Evis and I'm going to assume I have the biggest never ending budget in the world, my headliners would be Kiss on the Friday night for their final ever show. And then we have our big rock band covered and they're a household name aren't they like nobody's going to complain about kiss harry styles then on the saturday to end his harry's house era you know what i would keep julie put as the final headliner because although i'm not a personal fan i do think she has earned a slot with her success and i do love to see a woman headlining young blood popped up in camden this week with just a few fans to announce his first ever festival blood fest on the 11th of august at milton Keynes bowl He'll be joined by Nessa Berra, Softplay and The Damned to name a few. He's made it ridiculously cheap and there are no age restrictions so make sure you bag tickets on Friday. And to end this week, Forbes magazine has named Journey's Don't Stop Believing as the biggest song of all time. That is quite a bold statement. It is a karaoke classic and my flatmate can vouch that I have cried at the Glee version multiple times. But what do we think? Is it the biggest song of all time? Let me know what you think should have been voted as this in the comments.